Good morning. Welcome to Tea and Tarot. <laughs> this is our loving cat edition. <laughs> All right, so let's see what the cards have to say. And please be sure to check out my YouTube channel. There will be some zodiac specific readings popping up for the full moon in Capricorn. So be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Ooh, okay, so we have the Queen of Wands with the Two of Swords. So, getting ready to take action no matter what comes our way. Why not? Let's be ready. Let's be ready for the great unknown. Let's be ready for, <laughs> what the, for whatever makes us fall. Because <laughs> we will be landing on two feet. Or four. <laughs> So very um, fool type of energy. And the Queen of Wands, I mean, this could be a person in your life. I feel like this is more you um, learning how to nurture your mind or helping to nurture the minds of others. That could be through leading by example um, or just being the kind of like the fire underneath a person's butt. <laughs> If that makes sense. Maybe you're a fire sign. But this is confidence as well. Confidence is key. So I think I said the Queen of Swords, but it's actually the Queen of Wands. Okay, so we have the High Priestess reversed and the Knight of Cups. So... Honoring the sacred feminine is kind of like, or a lack of honoring of the sacred feminine is sort of overlooking the situation. Like you need to maybe revisit um, the, could be even like the women in your life, or it could be also just having a better understanding of what, you know, um, life carrying bodies have to endure in this world. Uh, a deeper understanding of that and like having love for that as well so commitment is not really the knight of cups game but that doesn't mean that there aren't any committed knights of cups usually they're just like all about sharing the love <laughs> and it ain't a bad thing so maybe sharing the love is kind of on your mind and you might be with somebody that isn't really about that life. I feel like that might be a very specific message for somebody, but I don't know. It could also just be a general thing that a lot of people experience. <laughs> so let's see what's happening next here. Okay, so you've put a lot of energy into your projects, into how you like to express yourself creatively. And that is, that's a pretty solid foundation for the past. Moving forward though, um, making money or how you, uh, how you deal with your money is going to be something that you're going to learn a little bit more about. There's, you know, lots of new opportunities investing in AI. Um, and there's just like some basic foundational pieces uh, that you either want to learn for yourself or that you are going to sort of lead by example or be there for somebody um, I feel like this is more like you and I don't know, like this page of pentacles, they're a messenger of career and health types of energy of messages. And it's all about like strength with them of being grounded. Sometimes it's literally just about the physical body being a hundred percent 
or whatever your 100% is. So how can we improve ourselves or embark on a new journey of improving our physical lifestyle? And we have the two of pentacles. So definitely attitude about the physical, attitude about um, maybe living paycheck to paycheck, attitude about recognizing your amazing skill set is, or like what you have to offer is not in the right place. So I would say that working on that with, um, you know, a good cup of self-love is definitely what I would prescribe to adjust your attitude. Because <laughs> there's a lack of balance. We want balance. Balance is key for everything. Oh. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> other people... I don't know, like this, I kind of fell like this, right? So within your environment, you either have like overcome a great deal of grief or you are like, it appears that you're dealing with some grief, um, some old wounds, or this could be even um, a need, like people see or they recognize that you should be addressing some of your negative core beliefs that are a result of experiencing trauma. So we don't need to get into why you're sad or who hurt you or all that stuff because it's just going to drag you through that shit. So like, that's counterproductive. Tactile things are really great when it comes to dealing with trauma. So doing art stuff, like just engaging in what makes you happy, making things, learning how to make. Uh, you know, there's a lot of, there's public libraries out there that have... Um, that teach like 3D printing for free and what else uh, like embroidery sewing stuff like all kinds of tactile activities you can find um, out there art classes or like even just have like a, a date night a me party with uh, you know you can sign up for one of those things like I think on um, Airbnb events where you paint and drink wine and shit. I'm sure there's something that's relevant to whatever it is you like. So we got the Ace of Swords. Again, you want to, like you really hope to keep this desire, this new desire to learn and grow and um, sharpen your mind like at an all-time high. You want to to keep that energy going and moving for you because you like it. It's really, it's fresh. It's refreshing. It's refreshing to have mental energy. You know, it's a good time. Um, it's summer. <laughs> the sun is out. Get your vitamin D and feed your mind that, that human version of what is it? Chlorophyll? <laughs> Eat some veggies. Omegas are good for the brain. Brain food. All right. So being in a great position to give back. This is giving back to community. This is volunteering your time to... Um, help the needs of others this is even just wanting to learn how to um, navigate your way through uh, philanthropy so the ins and outs of philanthropy and that's being informed and being able to critique you know the sources of money that are used and this is also like uh, like residual giving back too. like if you have items that you could donate do it like downsize and again your mind like education is where it's at and it's really going to give you that sense of satisfaction emotionally that you are craving at this time so thank you so much for checking out daily dose of tnt and i really hope you have an amazing day take care and bye for now